Hi, I'm Alex Villaforte, and I would like to share a case with you of a giant cell arthritis patient. This is a 78-year-old female who presented for a routine eye exam without any symptoms, but the ophthalmologist was concerned for possible optic nerve swelling, and then obtained a CT of the head and neck, which showed a right vertebral artery abnormality suggestive of chronic dissection. She also had involvement of both internal carotid arteries with few areas of stenosis, suggestive of beating. She was diagnosed with fibromuscular dysplasia, received no treatment, no other imaging tests were obtained at that time. Symptoms were monitored and yearly ultrasound of the cervical vessels. Five years later, she was referred to the Cleveland Clinic for evaluation of symptoms of low-grade fever and weight loss, a mild left temporal headache, and left jaw pain with chewing. A left temporal artery biopsy was obtained and it showed chronic inflammatory cell infiltrates in the advent tissue, focal loss of the media with replacement fibrosis, and intimal hyperplasia. A CT of the entire aorta and its main branches was obtained and it showed diffuse thickening of the thoracic aorta wall, suggestive of aortitis. She also had a dissection of the right iliac artery. She was treated with prednisone and tocilizumab for a diagnosis of giant cell arthritis with large vessel involvement and had complete resolution of cranial symptoms. The key points in this case are that GCA may present without cranial symptoms, GCA may present with isolated involvement of large vessels in asymptomatic patients, and so it's very important to obtain MRA or CTA of the entire aorta and all its main branches in all patients with suspected GCA. Thank you for listening.